The College of Agriculture, Igwobiaki, is a state-owned institution located at Ovia Southwest local government area of Edo State. The institution was initially established by the Civilian Administration of Late Ampus Ali in 1981 and was closed by the military governors and reopened by the Lucky Benedio Administration in 2001. The school is charged with the responsibility of offering an ordinary diplomat and higher national diplomat in agricultural technology, animal science, crop science, agricultural extension, and management was temporarily closed on August 2017 by the Godwin Obaseki led administration. The former College of Agriculture in Igoyaki and Agenebodi was closed down in 2017 and 2018 due to poor learning facility. The closure was to allow the government to restructure and reopen three schools under one college. The newly built college will house the School of Aquaculture and Marine Studies at Agenebode, the School of Environmental Studies and Wildlife in Uvomi, and the School of Agricultural Engineering and Technology in Igoriaki, while the college at Igoriaki will serve as its headquarters. The Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has said the reopening of the Edo State College of Agriculture and Natural Resources will foster the government's efforts at diversifying the state economy through agriculture and ensure the development of the manpower to drive the government's agricultural based economy. Obaseki, at the pre college opening and agri business stakeholders' engagement at the newly rebuilt Edo State College of Agriculture and Natural Resources in Igoriaki, or via sad local government area of the state, said the institution has been upgraded to compete favorably with the best of specialized agricultural training institutions across the globe. The governor said the college with three campuses in Igoriaki, Agenebode, and Uromi will groom and harness the knowledge and skills of the state East Timi youth population to drive the government's vision to boost food production and grow its economy. According to the Edo State Government, the newly rebuilt Edo State College of Agriculture in Igoriaki, in Ovia Southwest local government area of Edo State, we open for academic activities in September 2023 with about 2,000 students. With the reopening of the institution, the government has fulfilled its promise of bringing the school up to desired standards. The consultant on the college revamp, Professor Oluwa Femi Balugu, said the reopening of the college will attract more investors and boost agricultural development in the state. According to him, the college has acquired teaching and farm equipment for the college worth 625 million naira. All ICT laboratories in the college are not 24-7 solar powered and fishery and research farm fully developed. MBTE accreditation team will be visiting the school to accredit the programs. The College of Agriculture and Natural Resources Ugoriaki is the equator of the college, while Agenebode and Uromi will ask the other college or campus for the institution. The college will now have 16 programs structured into different schools. According to him, the school have added a unique program that has never been done in any agricultural institution in Nigeria. It's a vocational enterprise program which is open to all categories of people in the society. Some of the buildings you can find in the newly rebuilt institution is the administrative block, library, a battery lecture theatres, one big auditorium with a city capacity of 1,000 students, and primary health care center to attend to the school and community members. The school also have hostess, but it said that they can't take all the 2,000 students in, and the community is encouraged to build as it as students will live off campus. The governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, assured that the road leading to the school will be expanded, adding that they are investing more in facility, bringing technology there, broadband internet connection, 24-7 electricity, among others. Governor Godwin Obaseki further stated that electricity is key as they are trying to connect IPP to the place 
and it stated that it's not cheap but they will look for money to bring the light to the area as solar is no longer needed and he also stated that a police post will be placed in the school if the law permits and if not they will place it outside the school school when we won't build now school when we say once you enter you know say you must finish you know say you must get work when you finish for this school i say even though the government they put the money but other companies when go give work to people will also they as part of the people when they manage the school so the council of the school will involve Maybe some member from this community, Okomu Gode, Rubber Estates Gode, Naifo Gode, anybody when done they inside the business of agriculture for Edo will pull them, make them the part of this. So even when they go to teach the students, now practical, not be only theory. So by the time that they finish, they already done the work, the administrative block. We don't do library, big library. Eh? We don't do the lecture theater when the children, uh, when people go they receive lecture from. Uh, I, I think they played about two or three lecture theaters. Now we get we get one big auditorium here where if you take one thousand people at the same time, when they, they do graduation, they, they do any ceremony, they feed I'm here. We get primary healthcare center. So even people when they community when I want the doctor, now if you come here, go we'll also see doctor hostel. Uh, but when I not say. Not everybody will get room for this school. Some people will still stay for town. Because if you build house, the student will pay rent the house. Teacher will pay rent for there. Because we don't feel build house for everybody when they come to this school. For instance, we expect that about 2,000 people now will go first admit. But we don't feel give 2,000 rooms inside here. And those people will look for accommodation. The other thing when we go do, now this road from Benin, we go try to expand them. We don't feel running the school with diesel. Eh? So we just look how we can connect Osiomo from Benin, Osiomo power from Benin to. So, guys, what are your thoughts about this revamp institution? Do you think it will be a success this time around? So, I'll implore you to leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll be waiting for your feedback and do wait to give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and do wait to put on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching to this extent. See you guys in my next video. Bye.